You know what we learned in Cancun? Like that. You can, um, can you do it. Okay. The throw. She's got to know. You can. Oh my God, I did it. Right? I did it. That was a beginner's love. Actually, I want to know how much do you guys identify to your characters? Um, if you do, I don't. You know, I think that you know, for my character, she she kind of um, got beaten down throughout her life, I think, and like gave in to to Kip. Like, I don't think she would ever really wanted to be with Kip, and mm -hmm. she kind of settled. And I think that I identify with that not because I've settled in life, but I understand what it's like to settle for something. Um, so I guess in that way I identify, and, and uh, I like to think that I'm, I'm pretty close to my character. My character is nice. Sweet for you. You are Jen. Hey. <laughs> and me, my character. Well, I don't identify with him that much in real life because he's being rude and slapped around. That ain't me. But uh, you you slap everyone else. Yeah, did you cool. enjoy that? I sure did. I really did. <laughs> cool. Well, so tell me a little bit about the eighties. How how much did you like the music back then? Do you like the you know, going back? The music, the clothes, the dance, the right. hair, the that big was a hair. Lot of why we both love the movies Everything, so much. Yes. All the eighties stuff. All the eighties stuff. I love the eighties movies. Everybody I just I'm waiting the for the soundtrack. Yeah. Everybody it's gonna be very soundtrack. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. The, the hair, the eighties, everything. Mm -hmm. Did you get to to you know like remember good times? I wasn't really. I didn't experience the eighties because I was too young. Too young. But um, I mean, I was alive during the eighties. But mm -hmm. I kind of experienced it later. I saw like my older cousins wearing like all the bangles and mm -hmm. all the cool the belts and the hair and mm -hmm. stuff. So, um, so I always wanted to be a part of it, but. Well, now you are. Now I am. Now you are. And, on camera. and the fashions come back so much that, you know, in the last year, everything we're wearing is these. We're wearing the tights and the, mm -hmm. you know, the leggings. Yep. Yep. So. I agree. Love it. So uh, I want to know about your humanitarian work. I know you both work hard on that, and I really admire that because it's nice to see young Hollywood or Hollywood working on that and using the power to help people that don't reach. So can you tell me a little bit about your humanitarian cause and you too, please. Absolutely. Um, I, I've always been involved in charity work and um, my whole life. And, you know, I volunteered in my church and did, you know, everything growing up. Um, you know, in my adult life, I, I remember um, I visited South Africa to do a three part series on the AIDS epidemic there. And when I came back, I knew I wanted to do something bigger than just sending clothes and money, which I did. I felt like there was more I could do. So I founded a charity, co-founded a charity actually, um, called Take Action Hollywood that uses the entertainment business and the film medium of film to affect for social change. And we do that in a lot of different ways. We still have not yet received the funds to be able to do it on a grand scale. Like my goal at the end of the day is to make feature length films with social messages. Um, awesome. But we've done it on a small scale, we've made PSAs That's and right. stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. Awesome. See, the hard thing is, is I don't have someone running my charity for me. It's me. So on top of my two full-time jobs on two different coasts and everything else that I'm doing, I'm running the charity and putting every event together that we do and all the programs. <clears throat> so it gets a little, a little. Okay, that's a little bit after that. And you work with the uh, Hope for the Holidays program, the Sparks? Yes. Yeah. Well, we talked about that before. I, um, I, raised, I, mean, I was homeless when I first got to California, so. I go back to the place that I, I lived when I was homeless, the Union Rescue Mission. We raised uh, food awesome. for the homeless. We started out only doing it for uh, Thanksgiving. And since for the fifth year now, we've raised enough food for every mission, not just that mission, downtown, and the entire downtown Los Angeles area from Thanksgiving through Christmas. That's awesome. So, Congratulations. Yeah. He's amazing, too, because he, he's got that heart, and he's so, you know, you're a good church going guy. Absolutely. I saw him last night. We were leaving um, one of the clubs here promoting the movie, and he walked right across the street to this this homeless man and 
I saw you slipping him so high. Of course I saw you. That's nice. I was like, uh, my heart melted. I, I was like, he's so good. No, that's so awesome. Yeah. Um, I, the last question, I just want you to tell me a little bit about paper clips. I know it's a yeah. documentary in the Holocaust. So can you tell me a little bit? Um, paper clips is a documentary brought to me by a friend of mine um, at Miramax. <laughs> and he was like, I don't know what to do with this. It's a great documentary. And I watched it. And it was the most unbelievable documentary I've ever seen. And, you know, the charity we put together um, a screening in Los Angeles for our distributors and, you know, industry professionals to come and see if we could get it sold, and we did. Um, and now it's, you know, on TV constantly. I want to see it. Is, it's is it about the Holocaust? Everything? It's about, it, it chronicles the story of a, a grade school class that wants to learn about the Holocaust down south literally two years ago. They had no idea what the Holocaust was. Neither did their teachers. So if you can imagine living in the south two years ago and your teachers don't know what the Holocaust is. No one in that community knew what the Holocaust was. So they, it's a whole journey of learning what it is one paper clip at a time. They collected paper clips for each person that um, perished in the Holocaust. Well, thank you for bringing the attention to that kind of topics. Yeah. Thank you for helping and having a great heart. Thank and thank you. you for the movie. Thank, thank you. Well, thank you for caring about it all. Thank you. No, I do. Thank you.